Mm. I was talking to a female friend and she was telling me how lonely it is for her to be working with only men in her team because they all maintain a respectful distance from her as they don't want to come off as creeps, not realizing it's completely isolating. I do not care. I gotta choose me. I gotta choose me. I, I gotta choose me. Like, I know it might be hard because you're lonely, but I gotta choose me. You being lonely in your career is gonna make you lonely in your career, but I gotta choose me. I can't work with even trying to pass as a creep for something that I thought I, I, I didn't even do and that you interpret it in a, I don't wanna take the chance. First and foremost, I don't know who I'm working with, what baggage a person has, what, a, and I don't wanna deal with that. I don't know what your triggers are. And sometimes it's not what I do is the triggers that you have. Yeah. Sometimes it's not what I do is the triggers that you have. It might happen not often, but it just take one time. It just take one time. At the workplace, yeah. You gotta be I very gotta careful. choose me. <laughs> the same way that my, my son. You gotta snap for my son. This is this is a poem. This is this is this is well written. I'm not gonna fall every time I take my motorcycle. I'm not gonna fall every time. Every time I have a ride, it's wonderful. As a matter of fact, with all the years I ride motorcycles, which is 12, 14, 14 years now, I've only fell once. But it only takes that one time. Does that mean I'm not going to put an helmet on? Does that mean I'm going to go out with my t-shirt without my protection? No. I put my protection on. I put my helmet on because it only take one time. And that one time, I'm not going to recuperate from that. I got to choose me, my girl. <laughs> okay. Be lonely. But I got to choose me. Okay, well, let me, let me finish. So someone else replied, I would think in this case, your friend needs to break the ice. To which she replied, she did that many times. They still continue their behavior. And then she goes on, says, that's exactly my point. Whatever they're doing, it's just to make us feel safer. I hate that there's so much pressure on them to do so. But well, if a lady's trying to get herself included, she's still being getting ignored. Then I feel like something has to be said. Oh, yeah, I don't like, I, I mean, again, this is just Twitter. This is not like, like a study show type shit, but bro. A certain work environments, bro, is is this is what it is now, bro. Everything has to be um you have to be politically first of all, you gotta be professional first and foremost in the job. But um you gotta be politically correct because at any given point, nigga, like niggas at jobs, how they op operate with each other versus the how they interact with women is always gonna be different. It always is. Usually. Not no sexist shit or nothing like that, but the way men joke usually, sometimes not all women get the joke. Or niggas joke a certain way that is beyond how you really supposed to joke at work. But niggas be just joking each other. Niggas will curse, call each other names, shit. Joke. Niggas, uh, can't just go out calling woman something crazy at work and thinking it's cool. All this to say. And that's just that. It's just a topic, couple of other I, things. I sympathize. Because yeah, they want to be included. Unfortunately, the women are bearing the brunt of the fact that some other women are acting inappropriate at work or saying things that are foul or making rumors or starting issues. Or if it's not even the other women, sometimes man, it's man. a boss who sees you interacting with somebody else and they take it upon themselves to think something inappropriate is happening. People file, you know, complaints on behalf of others. That happens all the time with HR. Right. And so now you are bearing the brunt of other women's behavior, which is unfair. Sure. But in that same token, as men, we bear the brunt of the fact that other men are creepy. Yes, right? that's true. When I'm Very walking true. home late at night and there's a girl in front of me and she's terrified of me, okay, because we're the only two people on the street and we're walking in the same direction, I'm not like, why is this bitch being so weird? I know why. I understand. Even I though I've never done anything like that, even right. though I'm not like, hey, time to rape, right? Even though I don't do that, I understand why she's... <laughs> Yo, what? Nah, niggas ain't gonna go past that. I'm not like, why is this bitch being so weird? I know why. I ain't gonna lie, I do, I do say that, though. I do say that. I am like, why? like, niggas ain't trying to, well, but then again, I don't know her life, her past experience. And again, like he said, niggas are creeps. It is some niggas out here that'll will it, that'll do some weird shit. That'll do some very weird shit. And have. I understand. Even though I've never done anything like that, even though I'm not like, hey, time to rake, right? Even though... The, the, that was fucking don't do crazy. that I understand why she's scared because unfortunately you bear the right and it's unfair you want to be seen as an individual but like Preach said when it comes to workplace dynamics unfortunately these things have consequences I can't go into the workplace and talk a certain way why? because I understand the perception that people are going to have as a black man 
Mm-hmm. That's true. I don't- That's very true, man. You got to put that. You got to cold switch. You have to. Unless unless you're talking to, you feel me? You're talking to your people. Or maybe like a, a very close friend, bro. You can't. You can, but the the perception you gonna have after that. Don't complain about it. Damn don't bitch and moan about it. It just is what it is. Right. So, do I understand the frustration? Sure. But what do I think about it? Welcome to the man's world. It's a man's world. Yo, my oats, my oats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if men are doing things to protect themselves in the workplace, that's fine. The workplace I'm, is not for fraternization. It's not for friendships. And fraternization word. includes friendship. It's not It's not for that. No, it's not. Of course, those things make work a lot more fun and enjoyable. But we ain't need it. Yeah, no. I'm trying to get paid. I'm that's trying to it. pay bills. Get, get, go to work, pay your bills, go home. I guess. I'm trying to take care of my family. Finance for the future. That's why it'd be hard to make friends at work, even for niggas. Like, sometimes I'd be at the spot. I'd be like, bro, I don't really. It's not even about fuck with y'all. It's just like. I can't really be myself. Like, I'm here to work and go home. Like, I know people saying, like, that's not the relationship you have. Uh, that's why I don't even want to work. Keep it a being. We keep it a thou. That's why I don't want to go to work with, like, outside of doing this. Like, I want this to be work. Because I feel like I could be myself. I can interact with people so much easier. I don't got to, like, have that uh, um, that corporate America voice on. Like, hey, how you, man, how you doing, man? You got a good day, man? Yeah. Like, no. Yo, what's good, twin? Yeah, what up, my guy? Jamie, I had a great, you feel me? Like, I could talk, I could talk regular. Not trying to make friends. Right. And I will not let I've done that trying job, to make though. someone feel a little bit extra comfortable put that in jeopardy in any type of way. Right. And I'm telling you this right now. About your in money. corporate environments, there's more and more and more red tape being added. There being there's there's extra scrutiny being involved in those workplaces. Mm-hmm. So am I mad at these dudes for doing what they did? Mm-hmm. Nah. Do I understand the frustration of women? Sure. Yeah. But, you know, welcome to what we've been dealing with. You know what I'm saying? Guys will tell you, we know what it is. We're constantly aware of the fact that we look threatening to women. Constantly. You know, I, I, on dates and workplaces, everything, I always have to make sure I'm thinking in my head, oh, she might feel threatened in this moment. How do I change my behavior to make her feel at ease? Mm-hmm. I keep a certain distance. I never make eye contact. I never even try to go and talk to her and initiate any conversations. You might not believe it, but I do all of that so she doesn't even have the opportunity to think something weird's happening. And guess what? Some of these crazy bitches still think that it is. Some of these women will still think you're trying to try something. So I'm like, I ain't even, I don't want that headache because that one negative experience is not worth a 10 positive. Meet Grammarly Go, your go-to solution for getting spit. quality work done quickly. Even when I'm walking down the street, like crossing a woman, yep. you know what I mean? I know, I know. let's say you cross a woman, right? You're on the side of the road, yep. and there's buildings on this side, right? Uh-huh. And she coming this way, right? Most women, notice this, boys. Most women are going to look at the buildings. Or look down. Or look sure. down. Just because they don't want to draw your attention. Yep. What do I do? I look away. Yup. Just Every to time. show her that, hey, I'm not even about that life. I'm uh, you don't want to look at me, I'm bitch. Not, I don't want to look at I'm you. Not, I'm not even looking on me. Hey. Oh, if I go and we cross, if, if we go, and I'm like, look at my phone, I put my phone away, and I look up, and she's and she's looking at me, like we cross, I, I smile, and I look down. Yep. Or And look away. I'm not, this is a, this is a, this, I'm not even about you right now. Damn right. I said, you, so you could walk, don't even worry, I'm not going to try to holler at you, I'm not going to try to do nothing. I understand why, yeah. I understand why, yeah. but I understand that's what I got to do. Yeah. I understand that you feel a certain type of way, the way I look, the way I am, you don't know why, you don't know why, you don't know what, what, I'm, I'm, I'm telling, I'm sending the message, I'm not about that, so you good. And I, and I say this as someone who's been through it. I've already had that negative experience. Someone I never spoke to lost her fucking marbles and tried to make up the whole story. Thankfully, there was like dozens of witnesses, so it didn't matter. But for a while, like, my name got dragged through the mud. I ain't dealing with that shit. You best believe I learned how to keep the most professional distance at workplaces because it wasn't necessary and the risks just weren't worth it. So my thoughts, like I said, I ain't made it. I made it. But I understand the frustration. Like sometimes working somewhere, can suck, but the people make it amazing. And just being like, nah, that's a fact. It be the yo, not ninety percent of the time at these jobs, bro. It be the people, the money. Like obviously, if the money's good, the money's good. But if you got good people, good fun people, bro, that job is so much more fucking fun. You don't get to have that experience of having like close bonds with your coworkers and yeah, stuff like that. I can really feel isolated. Oh yeah, my girl at work, Amazon, prime example. Ah, right, never mind. I get. 
They're not ignoring you. They're being professional. Move on. They're being professional. Yeah, especially if there's a law and a clause of no fraternization in your environment. They are being professional. You're going to not be lonely outside of work. That's why we have extracurricular activities. Okay. Go. Yeah, my girl. Go out with your girlfriends or with your friends outside of work. Get yourself some friends that are outside of work. At work, we stay professional. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. It's for safety, man. That's just what it is. I don't really got too much to say about this. I feel like niggas already know. Like, that's just what it is. Like, man, like, comment, subscribe, man. Stop, fuck, stop pushing around. Y'all, y'all gave me tight, bro. Share this shit, my nigga. I ain't really had too much to say here. That's cool. I got more of the shit to say in these other videos. Like, tell me what y'all want to see. Send me some videos y'all want me to react to. Tell me some things y'all want me to talk about. By being, by being pussy.